Hello, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about using Google Forms. And I've made some videos about using Google Forms and posted them on YouTube, and I get questions about this all the time. And the question is, how do you embed the responses from a Google Form on a website? I have another video which explains how to embed the form itself, like this part of it, onto a website. Pretty easy. Go to send select the embed code, copy and paste that into your blog or whatever it might be. But what about the responses? So this form that I created, it has uh, 51 responses, all this data here. But what I want to do is I want to get this, some of this information onto my WordPress blog. And there's no obvious way to do that from Google Forms. For instance, the more actions icon, the three dots, click on that. And there's other things you can do, download the responses, print them, delete them, whatever, but what about actually putting it on your WordPress blog? So there is a way to do it. There's actually a couple ways to do it, and here's the easiest way to get that information on your blog. So go to the form, go to the responses tab, this one right here, and then click this icon, view responses in sheets. Okay. So here are the, the information from the form that one of my colleagues uh, entered all this data. There's also a test entry up here. Three columns. Uh, it has the name of a title of a book about acid reflux or heartburn, the Amazon link, and then some, uh, the number of reviews. Pretty basic. I want to get this information on my Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes blog. And uh, what I've done is I've created a post to hold this information. And right now it just has some basic text. Now we're going to put the, the uh, data in there. So this is how it works. On the Google Sheet spreadsheet, go to File, Publish to the Web. Click that. You'll get this pop-up that explains all of this information and options and whatnot. It's a little confusing, but basically here's what you want to make sure that you have uh, selected or not selected. Uh, the most important thing to have here is entire document, automatically republish when changes are made. Uh, make sure that's checked. If it says require viewers to sign in with their i30 Media Corporation account, you don't want to have this checked off or if you're working for your own company, if it has your own company's name. And the reason is, is if you embed, if you check this off and then you try to embed it on a WordPress blog or some other blog, blogger or whatever, people won't be able to see it. So this, this is uh, something you want to keep unchecked. So also up here, it says link or embed. I actually want the, I don't want to link to the, to the uh, spreadsheet. I want to embed it. So you'll s click in this area. It says iframe and then a bunch of computer code. Press control C to copy. If you're using a Mac, it would be uh, command C. Okay, so I've just copied all of that, all of that weird text. And now here is my WordPress form. This is a new post, but you could also put it on a page. Um, I've created this post. And then the default view is visual. I put some text here. You do not, don't do this. Don't paste that, te don't paste that text onto, the, uh, onto this, uh, the visual part of this WordPress page, because then if you publish it, it'll just be literally, you'll see this, this computer code, which, won't, which is not what you want to do. Instead, get rid of that. And then there's another tab. It says either text or HTML. Click on that. Uh, and you can read the basic text that I have here. And then below that, I'm just going to paste. You can do it control V or you can go to your uh, right click and then select paste. Let's do that. Paste. That code, the iframe code. Most of this is really hard to figure out what the heck it's talking about, but let's just see what happens. Click update or publish or whatever it is for the platform you're using. All right, post updated, view post. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is the WordPress page on my website, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. You can see the URL is up top here in the uh, address bar. And here's my form, not my form, the form data, the spreadsheet. 
There's only one problem, though. It has everything there, but it's almost impossible to read because it's so tiny. Like, you can scroll around using these scroll bars, but that's not really helpful to the people who are going to read the page, is it? So you need to do a little bit of editing to the code. It's pretty simple. So go back to edit that page or post. All right. Now what you'll need to do is add some additional information here that tells the browser to render the spreadsheet, the embedded spreadsheet, a little bit bigger. It's pretty simple. Type width equals, and then quotation marks. Inside the quotation marks, place you know, 500 or 600. I'm going to put 600. And that means 600 pixels wide, which is about the width of the column on my block. I'm also going to put in a height value. Height equals, let's make that, actually, let's make that bigger because there's a lot of data. So I'm going to highlight what I just did. I just added that, that information inside the pointy bracket, um, right, right next to the URL. I could actually put that over here, too, right after it says iframe. But I'm just going to put it right at the end. OK. Click Update. All right, let's see the results. Fingers crossed that this will look a lot better. All right, this is looking good. So I embedded the spreadsheet, but I changed the width and the height. So now I can see a lot more information here. This is exactly what I wanted to do. The other great thing about this is if somebody uses the Google form, like if someone, oh, let's just do a little test actually. Um, Here's the link. I'll copy that. Okay. Let's go to the form itself and then add a piece of data. Okay. Name a book. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, <laughs> blah. Acid reflux. Oops. Okay. Link. I'm just going to put http.amazon.com. Okay. Number of reviews, I'm going to say three, and submit that. Okay, response has been recorded, and actually, this should probably be this should probably show up here as well. Let's see if it showed up at the bottom. Yep, here it is. I just saw it. Okay, there there it is, row 52. There's my test. Now let's see if it shows up here. I'm going to reload this page. shows up here. All right, it did not show up yet. So I'm assuming that there's a little bit of a lag, but it will show up eventually. One other thing I wanted to mention, um, some, I've, what I've tried to do is, uh, using the formatting, I've tried to actually do things like hide certain columns. So it's only these two columns. But I've discovered that, that does not, that's not reflected here on the actual uh, blog page where it's embedded. Now, there's another, there are other ways to get data from Google Forms into a, uh, a Word, you know, WordPress blog or some other website. Um, it involves something kind of technical. I'm not going to get deeply into it here. But basically, you need a couple elements. One is uh, Zapier. This is an online tool that lets you kind of create data flows between different programs. So one of them that you can do is create something called an RSS feed from Google Sheets. And then with the RSS feed, you would get a special uh, WordPress plugin where you could embed an RSS feed on a page, and then it would pull in that data from Google Sheets. It's actually pretty complicated. It would take way longer for me to explain how to set it up, and also you need a Zapier account. But if you do want to get started and you're reasonably technical and no HTML and can uh, get up to speed on Zapier, then that's a fine place to start. But otherwise, using the uh, publish on the web feature of Google Spreadsheets is the way to go. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive and Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, and Sites, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.